Before I start, I want to mention that the testing process for this video involved recording a bunch of short clips and then doing calculations based off of them. The entire process will be written down in the description for those who are interested, so it's not just me claiming things without having valid proof. There are two reasons for strippers' unintuitive damage output. The first one is a widely known mechanic that makes every effect apply per pellet. So, things like concussion, crit, damage, etc. Your stat damage over time is also applied per pellet, meaning that you'll be getting up to 4 times more damage in your stats list with your stripper if all pellets hit. The second reason is that damage over time in general deals extra damage on bosses compared to other damage types. If we take any non-damage over time weapon, a regular Savage Necrosis has an estimated 10 million HP against it, but if you apply damage over time against it, it'll have twice as few. The same is true for any other boss. So if you use weapons like the Poison Claw, Stripper, S300, etc, they'll deal twice as much damage over time as their stats say. I'll give an example on how to calculate your damage with a red stripper. So it says here it has 2000 base damage, but it isn't its actual base damage. Its actual base damage is 2000 times the number of pellets we shoot, which is free on this character. Now if we're shooting at a boss, we give it a 100% more damage multiplier, which makes it 12k. This is our base dot damage. Now we should add the non-dot portion of the damage, which is 159 times the number of pellets we shoot. And it doesn't actually get the same multiplier as their damage over time, despite coming from the same weapon. So now we add that to the damage over time. And we multiply it with HD ammo for our final damage. As for skills, the only one that will benefit you with damage over time is adrenaline. Every other skill, like killing spree, deadly force, or critical shot, will not give you added damage with damage over time and will only apply to the non-damage over time portion of your damage. However, if concussion is applied to the enemy, it won't be receiving damage over time while it's under its effects. 